what is up guys welcome back to my channel this is chaotic spritzer and i hope you guys are having a great day so today we are back with another draft glory episode and i think this is my third draft glory episode uh, in the previous episode i i didn't play any games i just show you showed you guys the packs that i won from the draft uh, and uh, in the previous episode we did win the draft and we did get some prizes but we basically got nothing from them so i'm hoping to win the draft today again and uh, we basically going to have to do that by building a super team but if you get into my draft history i've entered the draft three times i uh, got out in the first round in my first draft i went to the final in my second draft and i won the draft in my third try so that's 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 just pretty good but uh, we are just going to enter the draft today and uh, i i just hope we can win because that is what we that's what we're here to do and i hope we can pack something really good like an ultimate scream player because they are going for quite a lot but we have entered the draft and Okay, none of these formations really appeal to me, but the uh, four-three-two-one. People say this formation is really good, and uh, I haven't, I haven't really used it, and I'm, I don't want to risk using it in a draft. The four-three-three defense seems to be pretty good, so I'm going to go with the four-three-three defense. A little defensive, not bad, but for captains we get okay, Cruz, Charisma, Pjanic, Messi, and Ben Affa. There's honestly no choice over here. It has to be um, Leo Messi, so he gets right into our squad. And we are going to start from the reserves because I don't know. I, it's it's a superstition, but we get better players when we start from the reserves. And that is false. I can tell you that is false because we did not get any good players. We're going to go with Kingsley Coman because he's got a sniper and that basically improves his shooting and dribbling. So he's got a pretty decent card. Our next reserve is going to be okay. Joe Cancelo. He's he's got a very good card and he plays in uh, La Liga. So we're going to have to take him. And he can go right into our right back position. He's got 89 pace, so that is not bad. And our next position is going to be top rack. Oh man, top rack. He might be a good choice because uh, I don't know why he's got a hunter card, but that basically improves his pace. So and he plays in the Bundesliga, so we're going to take oh man, top rack instead. And our fourth substitute, our fourth reserve is going to be Benat or Montoya. Benat or Montoya. Ben. I think it's going to be Benat. Then I have him in my squad right now. He's he's a decent player, so he's gonna go right into our squad. And there you go, we got Kava Hal as well, another La Liga player. I'm just gonna take him. I'm not okay. So we're gonna leave the reserves and we're gonna go right into our main team right now. Our striker is not okay. Oh, there you go. We get the ultimate scream man Zukic. And even though there is a Liga Santander player over here, I am Manzukic. He's not got a very good card. His card looks amazing. I mean, the graphics look amazing, but he's got 71 pace and 80 shooting, and he's got a basic chem style. So I'm not really going to go for him. We're going to go for Tony Sanabria instead, and uh, he plays in La Liga, so he'll get a link with Messi. And a left wing is going to be Neymar. There we go. We get Neymar. I'm not even going to look at the others. We got Neymar. And he's going to go right into our squad. Our first CDM on Messi's side is going to be Ibora. I've used Ibora, and he is—he's okay. He's not that good, but he's the only Liga Santander player there. There, so we're going to have to take him. And uh, our right back is going to be. So I think I'm going to take Pichek because we have a few player uh, players from the Bundesliga, and we might actually have to go Bundesliga on one side if needed. But that is going to be that. And uh, our first centre back is going to be Brian Ruiz or. Him and his, him and his got has got a very decent card and Gladiator. I think will improve his shooting. I don't know why it will improve his shooting, but it does improve his defending, and that is what we're gonna take. So him and his is our first centre back. Our second centre back is going to be Adil Rami. He's got a he's got a very decent card. He's slow. He's very slow, but he's got a decent looking card. And Dragovic is also a good shout. He can get a very strong link link with top rack. And he's got four star weak foot, so that is not bad. I don't know what I should. I'm just going to go with Rami because I want to play Neymar on the left side, and we're going to we're going to need our entire team to be uh, La Liga for that. And we get Lucas Dinier from La Liga, so we're going to take him. And our final CDM is going to be somebody. Good. Okay, we get Camacho. Again, he's got he's got an average looking card. Again, he's a CDM, and we've just got a lot of CDMs, but. Uh, That is going to be our first squad. We really need someone over here. So Benat is going to go in there. He improves our chemistry by 15. And right back, I think I'm going to put Cans. Okay, Cancelo is just he's just fast, but he, he's not got anything else apart from pace. So our first substitute is going to be Ronaldo. Please give me Ronaldo. I, I really want to use Ronaldo. I haven't played with Ronaldo yet. And Demarcus, he's going to take. 
Kavahal spot. Yeah, he's definitely going. He's going to replace Kavahal. So, uh, okay, we are not going to get Ronaldo. Why? I don't know why they can't give me Ronaldo. But we get a better striker in Gonzalo Castro, and we get Carlos Vela as well. I'm thinking of just taking Car taking Carlos Vela and playing Messi at striker instead. And I might actually do that. Castro's okay. Carlos Vela's got four star skill moves, so I'm going to take Carlos Vela. And it might be a bad choice, but it takes down our chemistry by seven. How bad is that? Okay, we're just gonna have to do, we're just gonna have to do something for that. And okay, there we go. That is a very okay. None of the other players fit into our squad right now. I I love Martial in this game, but it has to be Tony Cruz. And our chemistry is not looking too good. Okay, so into the next substitutes, we've got Thiago. I think I'm gonna go with Thiago because he's a center mid and he's got five star skill moves, so that could be really helpful. And our next substitute is going to be okay. I really I none of these are gonna play, so I'm just gonna take anybody and. Okay, Demayo, you're, you're going on the squad. And our goalkeeper, okay, this is a good goalkeeper choice. Okay, we get a very good goalkeeper choice and none of them are from uh, La Liga, so I really don't know what to do. Better check. I think we're going to have to go with either Rufier, Loris or Mandanda because we've got one French centre-back and we could somehow link Mandanda or Rufier or Loris. And Loris has got the best card, so I think he's going to have to be in our position. And our final goalkeeper is going to be Piatov. No, we get two in forms. And I'm just going to go with Piatov because we've, we've really not got any other choice. But there we go. That's going to be a squad. We haven't got full chemistry. Hopefully the manager can give us full chem. And uh, I'm just going to make this team higher rated. And I'll be right back. We're just going to have to take our manager and hope that we get 100 chem. Because I don't think what else can help us over here. So we're going to go with Antonio Conte. He's going to be our manager. And that takes us to 182. That is a bad rating, to be honest. But uh, we've got 185 rating if we had full chemistry. So that is that. And uh, this is going to be the squad that we are using. We are playing Messi at striker. And I'm not really too keen on that. But we're going to get into a game. Let's go. Okay, so into our first game for today, we come up against a La Liga squad. He's got Manuel Neuer in goal, but he's on no cam and he's got striker Ronaldo up front with Gareth Bale and Ferreira Carrasco on the wings. He's got a very, very good squad. That is a very good squad. And uh, this could be a very hard game, but let's get into kickoff. No! Oh my god, what a save! What a beautiful save. That, was, that should have been a definite goal for him. Okay, so we go into halftime and it's been a very, very tough game. I've had more possession, but he's had just more shots on target and more shots altogether. But it's been a very very hard game. He's I he's just defending so well that I just can't break his defense. But we are gonna go into the second half and hopefully we can break something. Messi! Oh my god! Did you see the immense concentration from me over there? I just I just didn't know what's going on. And then Messi out of nowhere. No! Oh my god, he missed! No! Oh my god, this game is so damn hard! <gasps> Hugo Lloris is a legend, he is god! Let's go that! Oh my god, we take the lead! Oh my god! Oh shoot, we... I, I do not understand what is going on! But we've just taken the lead against this guy and I have been on the back foot for the entire game. I do not deserve to win. That guy has just been the much better player. And oh my god, if I was him right now, I would be fuming. But we are leading right now. Blow the whistle, ref. Yes, there we go. Oh my god, I am so happy right now. I do not deserve to win. If you take a look at the stats, and okay, I'm probably going to show you guys the highlights of the game. And the highlights are just going to be of him trying to score a goal. And my keeper just saving everything. Look at that 11 saves from Hugo Lloris. That was absolutely incredible. And I think Neymar gave the assist or Carlos Vea gave the assist to put Benyat through on goal. And we did score. And Manuel Neuer, he made two saves. That was, that was a very bad performance. But honestly, that was a very, very hard game. And if you look at the stats, look at that. 14 shots, 8 on target. I had 4 shots, 1 on target and I scored that one. And he had 8 shots on target and he couldn't score out of those 8. So we progress into the second round, somehow, I just do not know how, but we get into the second round, totally undeserved, but uh, we're going to get into the second game, let's go!
Okay, so we're into the second game for today, and he's got a pretty decent BPL squad. He's got Harry Kane, Callum Wilson, Aaron Ramsey, Cesc Fabregas, Fernandinho, Paul Pogba, Winston Reid, Toby Alderweireld, Keen Gibbs, Kyle Walker, and uh, Ron Robert Zeller. Messi! Oh my god, Bernard, what are you doing? He came in the way! That was such good play from Messi. Okay, so it's half time and this game has been very, very, very boring because he's my opponent. He went on park the bus in the first minute and his back line is like right next to his goalkeeper and I just can't seem to get through because he's got like seven or eight defenders back. So I just don't know what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to make a substitution and I'm going to get Kingsley Coman instead of Carlos Vea because I just need a lot of pace up front right now and Thiago is going to come in for Ibora. Messi, there we go! Yes, we finally, we finally break his defense, and we, I just had to, I just had to pull him next to my goal so that he just commits a lot of men. And after that, I just had to break on the counter, and somehow it worked for me. I don't know how, but Messi just slots the ball through under the keeper into the goal, and we're finally leading. No! Oh my God! No! How? Oh, he's offside. Yes! Oh my God! Oh my God! I conceded a goal, and Paul Pogba he scores, but he was offside. Why? How? How? How does that happen? I am just so salty right now. I've defended the entire game. He's been on park the bus for the entire game and then he all the while just comes out of nowhere and takes a shot from just inside the box. And that goes in. And that is full time. We're going to go to extra time. And it's been a very even game. Cruz! Oh my god, we scored! We scored a goal in the 116th minute in extra time. And that was an that was an absolute cracker from Cruz from outside the box. But we are leading now. And we have to keep it going that way. Okay, what is happening? Okay, there we go. I think I I think my opponent raged quit or something. Because we hopefully we won the game. Okay, there we go. We won. We won that game. We won our second round in the draft. And that was a very, very hard game. If you look at if you saw his uh, player positioning he, he had like eight players on the defense and he had like just one or two strikers like Callum Wilson up front who was just pacey as hell and he was just playing very sweaty but uh, that is going to be the second round let's get into the third round see what we can uh, come up against and hopefully get into the final okay so we're into our third match for today and he has got a pretty similar La Liga squad he's got Neymar, Messi, Galpel, Koke I think that, that's Lucas Bigley or something and uh, Saul. Leo Messi, there we go. This is a pretty even game. He's playing really well, but I've got my chances as well. And we're just 13 minutes into the game, and Leo Messi puts us one nil up already. That was uh, that was a very good ball by I think Carlos Weya, and uh, he puts Messi through on goal, who does not make any mistake and just slots it through uh, at near post. And that was a very decent finish from Messi. No. Okay, he equalizes in the 16th minute. So, I, I I told you guys, it's a very even game. He's playing really well. And that was a very, very well-worked move from his part. But, uh, it's one all now. I just I just want to win this game. Oh, what? What a beautiful goal that was. Messi's, he's got immense ball control and puts it on a plate for Tony Cruz. And that was a very decent finish. Okay, so we go into halftime 2-1 and it's a pretty good game. I've, I've, I don't know if I've dominated chances or not, but it's definitely been extremely even. And we're going to go into the second half, hopefully pick up the win. Why does it keep happening to me? Why does it keep happening to me? I conceded again in the 92nd minute and I don't know, it's just E8. I, I can defend the entire game without a problem. And then something like that happens and I, I just concede a goal in the 90th. That was such a sweaty goal though. It was a good move. I can't I can't take anything away from the goal. But it was a very good move. That is full time and he just... We, I would have been in the final right now. But he just picks it up in the final moment and we have to go to extra time. Okay, so that is full time. We go to penalties and I, I, was, I was really not looking forward to penalties because I am just not very good at them. But we are in penalties. Camacho is taking our first one. I do. Not, I just do not know why. But okay, that was a very good penalty, and I just need to save a couple of his penalties. 
Gonzalo Higuain, you're going left. Oh my! It hit! It hit your foot, Loris. How can you not save that? Okay, that was a very good pen again. I just need to save one of his penalties. I think I can put it. Yes! Oh, he missed! Yes, he missed. Okay, he has missed. There we go. Another penalty. That was a very weak one from Coleman. But we're still 3 uh, with 3 1 up on penalties. And missed this one as well. Yes, we saved it! Oh my god, we saved it! Yes, I have never been so excited in my life. And Neymar can put us through. I'm just gonna go right again. There we go, there we go. That was a very, very tough game. And this is probably one of the hardest drafts I've ever played. All the three opponents that I've come up against have been very, very good. But we advance into the final. Hopefully, we can go and get our final win and another draft win. Consecutive draft wins. And that would be pretty interesting. Okay, so we enter our draft final. Oh my god, he has got two of those uh, scary Halloween cards. And he's not got full chemistry though. It's a, it's a, it's an okay squad. His dip, he, he's got John Terry in defense, and he's got Victor Valdez in goal. Hopefully, we can go and win the draft. That guy just scored an own goal. Okay, I do not know what's going on, but he just scored an own goal for no reason at all. And I'm going to take an own goal. Hopefully, he'll just rage. I was just going to say, hopefully, he'll just rage quit and give us the win. And there we go, we win our draft final again. We win two consecutive drafts in a row. And honestly, that, that has happened to me for the second time. The previous draft that I won also uh, had the same thing. And uh, my opponent rage quits in the final, giving us an easy win. But uh, honestly, this was one of the hardest drafts that I've ever, ever played in my life. Because uh, all the first three opponents that we came up against were very, very good. And I just needed a little bit of luck on my side to win the draft. But we've won the draft and we are going to claim our prize. Hopefully we can get coin and locks. Please just give me coin and locks. And we don't... Okay, we get a 50,000 coin pack. And we get a gold pack. We get these two prizes and they're not really very bad. But we're going to open the gold pack first. Hopefully we can get uh, a scare card. And we get a non-rare card. That rhyme. We get Matthias Ginter. He does not sell at all because he's a very slow uh, right back. 50,000 coin pack. 12 rare players. 12 gold. I just want one of those rare cards one of the scary halloween cards and we get no that is not a big fair that's gonna be like an 83 you give me mario gomez again i got him when i won the draft last time and he just does not sell that is that is just so bad EA. and we do not get we actually do not get anybody that sells but that was today's draft to glory episode i hope you guys really enjoyed if you did please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe on the channel as well as that would be really helpful for me but that's going to be it. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Peace.